Welcome to the Arctic Fox Habitat at the Yukon Wildlife Preserve. We filmed this video using a 360 camera, which means that you can click and drag the screen to see all around. If you are on a mobile phone, just move around as you watch to see in any direction. For a French version of this video, there's a link in the description. We've also included classroom extensions there. Arctic foxes live in some of the coldest regions of the planet. Even in the Yukon, they're only found in the most northern parts of the territory. Because of where they live, these animals are exposed to some of the coldest recorded temperatures on Earth. How do they survive the frigid Arctic temperatures and challenging climate? The short answer is that they have adapted to it. But what does that mean? An adaptation is a special skill or trait that helps an animal to survive. Adaptations could be physical changes to the animal's body or behavioral changes in how an animal does things in their daily lives. There are many. We will look at four adaptations today. Arctic foxes eat pretty much any small animal that they can find, from lemmings to birds and more. They also eat berries, eggs, seaweed, young seals, and carrion or dead animals. All of their senses help them to find food, including their good hearing, which helps them to hear lemmings under several inches of snow, and their great sense of smell, which helps them to smell carcasses from over 10 kilometers away. Their round, compact bodies minimize the amount of surface area that is exposed to the freezing air. Elephant ears are good for cooling off, but arctic foxes need to stay warm, so their ears are small and furry. Even their muzzles and legs are shorter so they don't lose too much heat. And their long tails? They can be wrapped around their bodies to keep their noses warm while they sleep. Not all adaptations are physical. Some are about how an animal behaves. Arctic foxes are careful to make sure they always have enough food to eat. But as you can imagine, there are times when finding enough food in the long winters is really tricky. Arctic foxes deal with this in a few ways. In the summer, when there's lots of food around, they hide it to eat later. This is called caching. Arctic foxes sometimes even dig holes in the permafrost to cache food, kind of making their own freezer. In the fall, arctic foxes eat as much as they can to prepare for the coming cold. In the winter, they spend more time in their den so they don't waste their energy. A very important adaptation that we can see here is their incredible fur. They have a thick winter coat that gives them insulation and traps the warmth of their bodies. Even their feet have fur on the bottoms. This not only helps with staying warm, it also gives them a bit of extra traction on icy terrain. In the winter, most arctic foxes have thick white fur that helps them to blend in and sneak up on prey. In the spring, they shed this thick white fur. By summer, they are left with thin, darker grayish or brownish fur that helps them to blend in with grasses and exposed earth. That is handy camouflage. As you can see, the arctic foxes here at the Yukon Wildlife Preserve still have their winter coats on. But take a look at their muzzle for darker bits of fur showing through. That's a sign they've begun shedding their winter coat. These foxes might look cute, but they have also adapted to thrive in a really tough environment. I hope they enjoy their lunch. To learn more about Yukon's wildlife or to find activities and classroom extensions, head over to yukonwildlife.ca or check out the links in the description.